Hello guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on displaying the form for editing the users about field in Bootstrap model using the Turbo Stream and Turbo Frame tag. Okay, so here you can see when I click on this pencil icon, I can see this attribute in the form within the Bootstrap model. Okay, now in this lecture, we will work on update request for saving the users about field in the database. So let's start doing this. So first, we need to create an action into members controller. So first, switch to the project directory in some text editor and now open the members controller. Okay, and here we need to define an action to update the description. Okay, so we can copy this edit description method and then we will rename it with update description. Okay, update description and save the controller. Now open the routes.rb and add a route for this action. So open routes. Okay, and first word wrap it. Okay. and now what we need to do we need to replicate this route with update description okay so just do this and here first change the patch okay and then replace this edit via update here we need to associate patch http verb with this route because now we are trying to save the updated value for users about field in the database so we need to use the patch request here okay and the get requests are only used for information retrieval so that's why we use get for other routes and we are using patch for this route okay now come to the form partial that we created into the bootstrap model and there we need to change the path and method type for submitting the form okay so open the description model from members okay so here you can see that right now we provided the empty form here so now we need to use the actual url value where we want to submit the request uh, where we want to submit the form so you can copy this update member description okay so just provide update member description path and provide at the rate user object to it and here mention the method type okay so we can mention patch here and save the form and now come to the browser and refresh the members show page okay so switch to the browser and here refresh the page okay and when you click on the pencil icon now you will see that form is coming to the uh, form is open in the bootstrap model and when you submit uh, this form so click on the save changes okay and you can verify this on the terminal that now request is coming to the update description okay and it is processed by the members controller update description as turbo stream okay but nothing changed in the database why because we just faced the user in the update description action we did not write any update query there okay but before writing the update query for the update description action, we need to add an ID to the DOM element that we are using for displaying the user description. Okay, so come to the project directory again in the text editor and then open the show.html.trb from app views members. Okay, so here you can see this is the show.html.trb and here we are displaying the user's description into the p tag. Okay, so here we need to add a ID for this element. So we can provide ID like, uh, let's say, member description. Okay, and save the file. By the way, before moving forward, let me tell you that why we are adding this ID here because we are sending request to the update description method as turbo stream format. And after making successful update to the database, we will update the new value using turbo stream dot replace method and to do that we need to find a dom element where we want to make this replacement dynamically okay so now create a partial in the app use member that will display the description okay and you can name this partial as let's say member description dot html trb okay so create a partial here and name this partial as member description html.erb okay save this and now what we need to do we need to use the same line here the line we used here p class lead id member description and at the rate user dot about okay and paste it and add the line and now remove the at the rate sign from this user object remove this at the rate sign because we will render this partial and we will use it as locals okay so you can save this and now come to the show dot html dot trb again and remove this line because now we will render the member description partial here so what we can do simply use render your partial name 
so member description okay and then provide locals here user as at the rate user okay and now when you go to the browser and refresh the page you will still see your paragraph element here and if you inspect this paragraph element you will see an id that is member description okay and this is how you can provide locals to your uh, partial okay when invoking partial and there is a different way to do that as well okay so let me show you that way so here right now comment this and if you wish to use it like this uh, for example render partial member description and then locals now you need to use your locals as hash in key value pair okay and when you go to the browser and refresh the page you will see that your partial will be rendered again okay with this approach as well but if you use it like this so you cannot uh, you need to mention locals explicitly if you use render partial then partial name okay and if you are using like this then you do not need to mention partial name or the locals as explicitly okay so what we you can do just to keep the latest syntax here okay and if you wish i show you other way as well you can do that as well okay so now save the file now as the last thing we need to finish the implementation of update to description action okay so let's do that so go to the members controller in the update description action and here what we need to do first to add a format block so respond to do format okay and here we need to run the update query so if at the rate user dot update okay and then what we are trying to update we are trying to update the value of about attribute okay so about and then params okay and now let me show you that how we are getting params here you can see we are getting params in the user hash okay so we need to get params user and then about okay so we can use it like this params user about okay and if this request is successful now we need to use format dot turbo stream because our request is coming as turbo stream okay and we will serve the request with turbo stream format so format dot turbo stream okay and here what you need to do render turbo stream and then turbo stream dot replace okay and here you need to provide member description okay. uh, let's the uh, let's wrap the words here first okay member description and then you need to mention your partial name so partial is member description from app views member so we can mention members and then member description okay and now add the locals here so what local we can provide local says user at the rate user okay and here you can see that we use turbo stream dot replace okay and this will find the specified id on the dom and then replace it with the partial mentioned okay in our case the dom element has the id member description okay and the partial name is members member description so whenever this update request performs successfully here you can see that we will replace this element okay with this partial okay so now just finish this so what we can do just add an end keyword here and that's it save the members controller and now come to the browser and refresh the page okay so save the controller file and make sure everything you saved like routes.rb member description partial show.html and description model partial okay save everything and now come to the browser okay and refresh the page now when you click on edit form okay so just try to change this so we can uh, copy the existing tag and we will try to paste it a couple of time more 
okay and now when you click on the save changes form you will see that the form has been submitted and now we can see the updated description on the browser and you can verify this on the terminal as well that here you can see that the, this is the about attribute updated that we get on the uh, params okay and now it is performed as the update query and when you refresh the page you can still see the older text here okay and if you try to make some other attribute let's say i will do it later now when you submit the form you will see that the description is here now okay and you can see this on update uh, terminal as well and that's it here we implemented the update description action using turbo stream so try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe